how do we make good on this most sort of sacred of promises and codes that we have in the U.S. military, which is, you know, we don't leave anyone behind. Um, and we all know that. It's, 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 it's explained to us and hammered into us from the, the day you show up at recruit training. We don't leave anyone behind. And that is an ethos that's actually not specific to the U.S. military. I mean, it is something that is as old as war. So this idea of what does it mean to live up to that promise of leaving no one behind is a very profound question in war. And it was a question that was being posed in a, in a huge way at the end of last summer. And so a last part of the book is, as I was watching events happen last summer, and I was watching people I knew trying to live up to that, that ideal of leaving no one behind, uh, frankly, it dredged up old memories I had of serving and fighting in Afghanistan. In one case in a particular uh, where my team was ambushed and uh, one of our teammates was killed and we really struggled to get his body out of the kill zone. And I've often questioned whether or not, you know, I lived up to the highest ideals of leave no one behind. And so I found myself writing about that, uh, that episode as well as I was also trying to document uh, how the war ended.